after hours, the stock is up three and a half percent, which in the context of the market guy is a burrito blowout. Well, <laughs> we had to do that. <laughs> well, it's listen, it's always a burrito blowout. And this, again, another solid quarter. They beat on EPS, beat on revenue. As again, Kate mentioned operating margins for context, 20.7 percent this quarter. Same quarter last year, 22.3 percent. Not a disaster. They're going to talk about 30 percent EPS growth for a company trading at about 35 times ish next year's numbers. I happen to think you can make a pretty compelling case for that. I think the high on the street is 2100, significantly lower, obviously, than the recent all time high. You know, I love the company. You know, I love the stock. It's just a question of were people comfortable with the valuation in this environment? They should be because they're doing everything right. I actually had a higher valuation of in the low 40s as a P.E. It's interesting to me that a miss on the margin, um, even in a great quarter, for sure, they weren't penalized. Even with a really high-flying stock, right. it seemed to be immune to some of the other reactions. Well, well stock's it's always immune. It's, yeah, well, I mean, they, they, well, usually they beat on every metric. I mean, this was an outstanding quarter, no question. But a 10 but, to 12 percent comp mm -hmm. coming off a nine, which beat <laughs> an eight. You know, I mean, these these are crazy numbers. And and you think about a world where at some point food prices are going to be uh, coming down. And, and to the extent that they have some pricing power. And I realize we don't all expect that in the next couple months. But um, they have pricing power. He said that. Uh, clearly, for now, people are going back into stores, although digital sales, I think, are still 49 percent of the overall sales, which is why the stock gets the multiple it gets. Who else in food, Grasso, has pricing power like CMG? Well, the, 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 what I was going to say is, to, to Tim's point, Guy's point, when, when, you, when you say you have pricing power right now, they're trying not to pass on price increases. But that doesn't mean that they're not, that they're not going to pass on price increases. So if you look at the burrito blowout that you called it, it's still trapped under all of its moving averages. If you look at the chart, the chart doesn't look so great uh, to me. It's still down 17% year to date. The nearest moving average is the 50 day at 1525. So if you wanna really talk about pricing power, I would probably go down a little on the food chain and on pricing and I would go to McDonald's. McDonald's is only down 7%. But if the consumer becomes a little more strapped as we're moving forward in this environment, as we start to move maybe into a recession, I think you go with McDonald's. 